cleaning your mixing bowls. Remove, move your spouts up in the closed position. Unplug your tube to the mixing bowl. On the green rim, turn it counterclockwise and then pull your mixing bowl out. Here's our mixing bowl that we need to pull apart. It comes in three pieces and must be pulled apart in three pieces. As you can see, you've got the top bit there that has a lot of products stuck onto it. And in the actual dispensing of the product where the mixing is done, you can see a lot of products stuck there. So pulling apart the unit, dipping it into your dishwashing liquid, making sure you get that th third piece out otherwise the whole unit won't be washed successfully dip everything in get a good scrubbing brush or uh, in some cases i've used a baby bottles brush so you can get into the little crannies much more easier after you've successfully washed everything off rinse it all off and then using later on using the brown basin um, add some sanitizer that you can get from office works and let it soak overnight before you put it in back into your machine after drying them other things to clean besides the mixing bowl is the whipper disc it's the blue whipper disc that unclips if you slightly pry it open you can clean that out the same way you clean the mixing bowls also if you've got any dirt around there you can wash that and with the green locking clip if you go clockwise all the way it comes out and if it's dirty you can wash that as well and while you're there with everything removed You've got some rubber rings around there that you might have some product that was leaking through. Give those rubber rings a clean. If they become too hard or anything of that sort, replace them. Okay, putting our mixing bowl back in, making sure we don't miss the water spout that's coming out. Lock it in, nice and tight. Clockwise, one click with your green locking device put your tube back in and release your product spouts back into the mixing bowl and you're done so next we're going to clean the brewer in order to clean the brewer we've got to remove the bin for the coffee cakes remove the tubing you twist the green lever at 45 degrees and pull it out Remove the brewer casing, the blue casing. Then you can see the actual brewer. And the brewer, you'll see at the back end of the brewer is a green lever that you pull all the way out. And while in the up position, pull the brewer out. Here again, we just have our basin, washing basin with our detergent. Um, you can drop the whole brewer system in Get a good soft scrubbing brush and start scrubbing all the areas with the baked on coffee. Be gentle on the sides where the lever is. It's a, the automatic cleaning lever during a normal cycle. Wash it thoroughly. Then after that, when you finish, give it a very good rinse. After you rinse it, let, let it sit and dry, and then you can put it back in the machine. We've cleaned our brewer and we're just about to put it back in. But prior to that, we're gonna use a portable vacuum and clean around the back end of where the brewer sits. So everything is clean. After our vacuum, we'll use a paper towel or a rag and we'll use a uh, product called Vanilla Fresh, which is uh, food safe and 
also smells good. We'll spray the actual rag or the paper towel and then we'll wipe off all the excess off the back of the unit. So putting the brewer back in is the opposite function. Um, having the brewer, you can see the two holes there and lining up to the two pins on the back of the wall, lifting the green lever up and aligning those pins in, slide the brewer back in and clip the green lever back down and you're done. Put your blue cover back on, clips in from the top and just hangs there. Then put your brewer tube back in and give the green nozzle a 45 degrees twist back and tuck it away you're done last thing to clean just above the brewer is where the actual co grinded coffee dispenses if you see in there you can see how it's all dark and the coffee grind is stuck to the side walls give that a quick wash and put it in and you're done